Hi Sagittarius. This is a reading for you guys for March 6th through the 13th. This reading is um, it's all about the person that's in your energy and what they want with you. What's really going on with them, okay? We're going to start with some Romance Angels cards. <clears throat> Sagittarius. Let's see what that is right there. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your relationship. This is one of those cards that I have not, um, I don't think I've ever pulled this one. Hmm. So, where am I putting that down? <laughs> I guess it kind of threw me off a little bit. Huh. Okay, let's see what this one is. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Hmm. Okay. Just jump out my hand. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Maybe there has been a block in communication that has created some sort of rift between the two of you where something has gone on that has really challenged your relationship with this person. Let's see. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Hmm. Let's see. What is going on with them? Immediately, when I pick up the vice versa tarot, I see strength here. And that means somebody's fighting some sort of urge. Something that they, you know, automatically would resort to. It, it, it's something that they're fighting because they feel like that's not working for them, okay? That Leo energy, that could be you. It could also be them. Since we are talking about them. So with the Vice Versa Tarot, guys, I am shuffling and I will pull a card. I feel something sticking out. I've got to take it um, with my eyes closed because I don't want to be biased. So I pull the Two of Swords here. And the Two of Swords is a Libra energy where I think for a while um, this person was not... They were riding the fence, not making a decision one way or the other. I don't know if there was someone else involved or if there was someone else that was interfering in the relationship. I feel like it is. I'm looking at the Ace of Swords right here on top of the deck now. So I'm feeling like this person really did not want to say specifically what it is that they wanted or or make a decision about something because that would um that would mean finality for them so there's something here about making a choice for them <clears throat> let's see oh that one wanted to come too so i'm gonna go ahead and take that one we have the hangman here they've been stuck They've been stuck. This is them not really facing the music, right? Um, just kind of keeping to themselves and not trying to, not trying to like tempt fate one way or the other. Just kind of taking their hands off of things and just letting things play out the way that they would play out without any interference from them. This person's no longer stuck. They've been stuck, but they're no longer stuck. You see, the ropes are on the ground down there. And they're facing the person. I feel like this person's ready to face the music. They're ready to tell you what they've decided. Um, and, and, and that's just the bottom line. I feel like they're ready at this point. I feel like they're definitely ready at this point. And then we have the Nine of Wands. Look at that. This is the Nine of Wands, usually. Just kind of tired and, and and trying to decide whether it's worth it or not to continue. It's worth it to continue. It's worth it to face whatever with that person. This is you. This person is ready to have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you, I feel. They are ready to tell you exactly what they need and what they want from you. Yeah, see there? Ten of Swords. They're ready to face the music. 
If this person did something to you and you feel like they ducked out, they took the easy way out, they're here now. This is the other side of the Ten of Swords. Feeling betrayed, left alone, somebody's gone on about their business. This is the side that it came out on. There's two people here. There's two people here. There's people here. Initially, they were very indecisive. They were not making the decision. They were not making a choice. This person, I feel like, is ready to face the music. They, they're ready to face whatever it is that they've done that made you feel like they betrayed you. We have Gemini energy here. Pisces energy here. Libra. Hmm. Let's get some clarification on this. They're ready to face the music. They're ready to make it right. Hmm. Because they haven't been happy. Hmm. <clears throat> Knight of Pentacles. It's been something that's been weighing on them. They really had to like get their thoughts together. Um, and, and that's what they've been doing all of this time. Getting a plan together about how they were going to to approach this, approach things with you. But they are definitely drawn to you. We have this very Taurus energy here now. Knight of Cups. Oh my gosh. I feel like this person is ready to build something with you. Um, their feelings have always been with you guys. I feel like they love you. Even if before this person did not convey to you that they really cared about you. This person showing up for you here in this reading. And I feel like they are definitely ready. They're on horses. So they're ready. The only thing is with this Knight of Pentacles, you know, they have a hard time. They're very indecisive. They do not like to, like, jump into things. So Taurus Libra energy is very strong here. But they love you. And I feel like this person, if they haven't already told you, they will. Ten of Wands definitely been weighing on them but they're ready to carry this burden they're they're ready to um, go forward with you they want to start over with you and they know that it's going to be challenging they know that there may be some hard um, conversations some things that come out that maybe are necessarily hard to hear but I feel like they're ready to face the music and then you have death here they definitely changed their tune. I feel like this person has turned over a new leaf. There's somebody different at this point than how you remember them. Let's see what they really want with you. What do they really want with Sagittarius? One more card, please. What do they really want with... Okay. <clears throat> we have Parrot. Someone will gossip about all your secrets. I'm getting that maybe some of you heard some things before this person was really willing and able to explain things to you. Um, I feel like they're at a point, again, where they're ready to have, have a conversation with you. And then we have dog barking. They're ready to talk. They're ready to talk. Because not only were you... Um, in an intimate relationship with this person, I feel like they, you were their friend as well. You guys were friends. Okay. So yeah, that's what I have for you guys. And um, I'll be speaking with you soon. Namaste.